Hey guys, this is Jeff with jailbreakmovies.com. I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 4.3.1 on your iPhone using Ponage Tool. Now, why am I using Ponage Tool instead of Red Snow? Well, there's one good reason that I have for using Ponage Tool with this particular iPhone, and it lies in our settings section. If we go to settings and we go to about, now you'll see here that I'm running version 4.2.1, which is quite old. I mean, I haven't updated this in quite a, quite a while. Um, but that's not really the important thing. If you scroll down a bit, okay, now I'm covering up some of the uh, important information about the phone that identifies the phone. But if you see there, you can see 4.2.1, okay? But this is what's important, modem firmware, AKA the baseband. You see that? It's 0.1.59.00. I think you can see that right there. Why is that so important? Well, that's a firmware version that is unlockable using Ultra Snow. So it's imperative that we keep this firmware version when we upgrade uh, our iPhone and jailbreak it. So that's why you want to use Ponage Tool. It creates a custom uh, IPSW so that you can upgrade your iPhone, you can jailbreak your iPhone, and still remain on this same baseband version. Now, one more point of note, just be sure you follow these instructions to a T, otherwise you risk losing your unlock for life. Um, so actually, really don't proceed on this unless you're 100% confident, you're 100% sure you want to go through with this. Again, I can't be responsible for any you know, problems that come about by doing this. I'm just going to show you how, uh, how I did it. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, if you notice on my Mac here, now Ponish Tool is only for the Mac, so just keep that in mind. Um, but if you notice on my Mac, I have Ponish Tool already downloaded. It's Ponish Tool version 4.3, of course. And you can download that. Um, you can actually go to uh, jailbreakmovies.com, and I'll have a link under the download section, which is right here under jailbreakmovies.com. Again, you should also have your firmware for iOS 4.3.1 downloaded as well. Now, if you've, of course, already upgraded to iOS 4.3.1, the firmware will already be on your uh, Mac. Thankfully, I already have it on my Mac in preparation for this tutorial. So let's go ahead and open up Ponage Tool version uh, 4.3. All right, so we'll just load that up. Open. Okay, just click OK. And you want to select here this option for the iPhone 4 if you're using an iPhone 4 or um, you know uh, iPhone 3GS. Again, this jailbreak will work with any device that uses iOS 4.3.1 except for the iPad 2. So, okay, all right. Now it found the firmware which I already had located in my iTunes folder, um, but you're going to need to download that firmware if you don't have it. If it didn't find it, and point it to the right. Uh, location of your firmware. So all you need to do now is select that, okay, and then click Next. Now what this is going to do is says we will now create an IPSW file, aka the firmware file, that you can use to restore your iPhone with iTunes. And this file will be placed on your desktop. Do you want to continue? Yes. Okay, now here's the next screen. You have an iPhone 3G, 3GS, a 4 contract that you would normally activate through iTunes, yes, I use AT&T, so I'm going to select yes there. If you don't, if you need to activate your device, you can select no. So I'm going to click yes. Now it's building my uh, firmware, which it will place on my desktop, on my Mac. Now the thing about Ponish Tool is it's different from Red Snow in that it actually creates uh, a firmware file that you restore with using iTunes. So it's sort of like a two-part method. Red Snow is definitely the easier option, although you don't have as much functionality in Red Snow. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. Okay, now it's going to ask you for your password, possibly. Just put my password in. So now it wants to put your phone into DFU mode. I normally don't follow these screen prompts. Um, I usually kind of do it on my own, uh, just because I find it easier that way. So you'll get this red error message if you do like I do and, and don't follow the screen prompts to put your phone into DFU mode. I like to do my own DFU mode. Um, if you want to know how to put your phone in a DFU mode, you can click this below. Um, this link will take you to a video that is exclusively um, all about 
putting your phone in a DFU mode and how to do that the easiest method that I know. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put the phone in the DFU mode. We're going to say goodbye to iOS 4.2.1. Okay. If you have a black screen there and your um, sync cable is plugged into your iPhone, you should be good to go. You should be in the DFU mode like I am. All right. Now you can see the screen is successfully entered DFU mode. Close Punish Tool application. Start iTunes and restore with your custom firmware bundle. All right, so just hit OK. You can close out. All right, now you'll see iTunes most likely pop up. It'll tell you it's detected in iPhone in recovery mode. You must restore this iPhone before it can be used. Just click OK there. That's fine. Now, you should see your firmware also on your desktop. This is your custom firmware. Just uh, open that. Well, just click that and make sure it says custom restore, not the regular. Please make sure that this is the custom restore, not just the restore. Otherwise, you will lose your, your unlock capabilities. It will update your baseband. You will be upset. And also, you won't even get the jailbreak because you didn't upgrade to the custom restore. So make sure that you point iTunes to this custom restore before proceeding. So now we're just going to click on restore, but you need to hold your option key on your Mac. So I'm going to hold my option key, click restore. All right, now find the custom restore again, triple check, quadruple check to make sure that this is the custom restore for 4.3.1. This is what we just created using Ponish tool. So select that and click choose. All right, iTunes will erase and restore your iPhone to iOS 4.3.1. That's fine. Click restore. All right, and then you'll see extracting software. So it'll look just like a normal, you know, firmware update or a restore uh, in iTunes. But this will give you the jailbreak. It'll allow you to upgrade without updating your baseband. Again, make sure you choose custom and not the normal 4.3.1 firmware. And it should look just basically like a normal restore, as I stated. You'll see the Apple logo. So you're not going to get all the scrolling text that you get with red snow. Okay, this last little section takes just a while. There we go. All right. So your iPhone has been restored to factory settings and is restarting. Awesome. All right, it's going to activate through iTunes. There it goes. So we're all activated, we're good to go. But the main key that we wanna focus on is our settings, of course. Let's go to general, about. Okay, so we are on 4.3.1, that's key. So let's scroll down here for the moment of truth. There's the moment of truth. Firmware 01.59.00, and I'm on 4.3.1. So I have an iPhone with the latest firmware that Apple has released. It's jailbroken, which I have not showed you yet, but it is. And I'm running firmware that is unlockable using Ultra Snow. So this is really the ultimate iPhone right here, um, if you consider all the options you have. So let's go back to our home screen. And there's Cydia. So we have the best of both worlds here. We have all the latest Apple features, such as the um, you know AirPlay, third-party apps, faster Safari, all the things that 4.3 offers, mobile hotspot, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, along with an unlockable iPhone and Cydia, jailbreak, jailbreak apps, and things like that. So I really hope this tutorial was helpful for you. I know it was long. I know it was quite lengthy, but it is worth it, especially if you have uh, an older baseband like I have um, allows you to unlock your phone you can use it with any carrier any GSM carrier and you can still have the latest version of iOS so if you have any questions or concerns make sure you leave me a comment and um, visit jailbreakmovies.com we'll have a post directly related to this video and we'll have comments there as well again this is Jeff with jailbreakmovies.com